student-run organization where we build solar cars for racing, and they're really big. We started Kelsol uh, first semester of freshman year, and I've been on the team ever since. ourselves and they connect to the kingpin. And we made these in the student machine shop on campus. I came into this club not knowing much, so I've been in the process of learning. I'm hoping to learn some programming for the car eventually. Our car is driven by a very high efficiency DC brushless motor. Um, it's mounted here on the motor hub. I visited during the Cal Day and I fell in love with the campus, the forest and the creeks and everything. The city is wonderful and the professors are just amazing. So we're using these monochrist and silicon cells um, from SunPower. Um, they're actually fairly fragile so um, they're encapsulated in chunks about this big and we attach them to the car and there's um, five different um, array segments that we channel the power through into the um, PowerPoint tracker. We have to do a test called egress which is a race requirement. We have to be able to exit the car in 10 seconds, and that's in case, for some reason, like our car flips over or our batteries catch on fire, we want to be able to escape in time. Top speed is 50 miles per hour. It says high voltage, and it really means it. Because I've been working with batteries, and I got shocked once. And you know what happened? My right arm was so numb. Council is so popular because um, it brings together all kinds of engineers from different departments. So um, this is one place where we get to see, we get to collaborate with mechanical engineers, industrial engineers, or civil engineers, because um, they all contribute to different parts of the car. It gives us a chance to apply what we've learned in classes into the real world. Um, the great thing about Council is that you can have a good time but still develop the skills and 